Here comes the Westlander. Well, uh, this is an old movie of mine showing the uh, the former uh, Westlander the way it looked, in other words, with sleeping, dining and lounge cars and so forth, arriving in Ipswich uh, on, to do a trip out to uh, Charleville. Well, um, I shall try to be brief with this, but I believe it's the, the weight that would be required to get... Uh, they use the carriages from the uh, current spirit of the outback train on the Westlander and inlander services for that matter is such that it may not be practical for a while but I would suggest that a conversion of two sitting cars one for the Westlander and one for the uh, inlander into rail bed cars would be a solution and that's the lounge there by the way and the train how the train was and there again is the uh, is the westlander in uh, in brisbane actually as a background movie in conclusion i would say it is completely unfair to have train crew being given sleeping berths on a train while passengers quite literally have to sit up all night for, for extremely long journeys in the case of the inlander by the way about night what is it 19 hours or more 20, no i think 21 hours and here on the westlander the same thing a very very long journey uh when the, typically the kids are put onto seats and and the adults are laying on the floor for the night where else in the world would they do something like that? So thanks for viewing, and I'd like to have some uh, civil and polite uh, discussion and uh, comments. Thank you.